It is October 21st, 2010. We're out on a repossession for a 2003 Ford Escape. We repossessed this once before and uh, they got it back. It's up for repo again. We just came up here and checked this long private drive where it was parked before. The vehicle wasn't here. And as we were leaving the property, we pa pulled out. We were actually out on the main road, and we passed the Ford Escape head on. So we are heading back down the private drive. <coughs> Went up and did a flip around, let them get parked ahead of us. The house does have a garage on it, so hopefully they didn't pull up and into the garage. Last time we repossessed it, it was parked right out where we could get to it. Yeah, they pulled straight in this time again, so what we're gonna need to do is we're gonna need to turn around, get our arm ready. Flip it from behind. <coughs> Around spot up here.
is actually the 22nd. To clarify, not the 21st. The 21st was late last night, and we were out here before. funny too because I was just driving by that high school. <clears throat> it's got a huge parking lot. I was going to go check it on the way in here. I figured, well, I'll check it on the way out. So had she not been coming home for lunch or whatever, I probably would have got it over at the high school. Hi. Hi. Are you the one driving the escape? Yeah. We're picking that up again for your dad's finance company. You're probably between going to school and going back, aren't you? Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> you want to grab the stuff that's in the front seat out at least so you have that stuff? Um, yeah. Why are you going to uh, He's behind on the payments again. Um, we just kind of checked all They haven't received it, so I don't know what happened. That's something that... My mom took it. Do you know when? Um, Wednesday. No, I don't know. Maybe it wasn't enough to cover all of it or something. I don't know. I'm just the guy that moves them. They'll have to contact the, they'll have to contact them to find out, but I saw your school stuff in there figured you might need it. What's up, Freddy? Come here. Come here. Where's your pet doggy? Yes. What do you smell? What do you smell? I smell good stuff. Where's your pet doggy? Where's your pet doggy? Are you taking that? They aren't taking my car. Cool. And then do you have the key for it? We'll just speak with the vehicle so when he gets it back to get the key back of it. What's up, buddy? What's up, buddy? Oh, yes, it's a puppy. That's a good puppy. Yes, it's a puppy. That's one big picture. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, hopefully he'll know better why what's going on with the payments and stuff. I'm not well, sure. They've done this before where they came to pick it up and they, it was a screw up in their system. Ow. Oh. Well, if it's that again, then at least you don't have to worry about paying for it. So. Yeah, but it's so cute in the butt. I hear you. It really is. I'd rather not have to come out here and pick it up. <laughs> All right, I'll talk with you, Dad. How's it going? Yeah, they sent us out again. <laughs> we just paid it yesterday. And I believe you. I mean, you know my job is to pick it, it up and drop it off. time we get it, you do a Christmas I'd, I'd be charging him for it then. Just like yeah. he charges you, I'd be charging him. You know? I, I, I know. And I, I'm not going to, I won't argue with you about the payments and all that. It's, you just go down there and find out what it is again. Same thing as last time. You've got to go to school. I know. I, mean, I, let her, I let her get all of her stuff out and everything. And so, I understand. I just, we paid him yesterday. 
and again, I, I'm just, I'm just, you know, it's like talking to your mailman about junk mail in your mailbox. He's just the guy that delivers it. So well, let me call him. Do you yeah. have his number? Uh, I just their office number. Nine fifty? They might be. What an idiot! It wasn't even thirty days. Twenty-eight days late. Yeah, you never know. There might be something else going on. That no, there's nothing going on else going on. I, I mean, with him. <laughs> um, try this number. Well, I can be you don't have a right to take my car. It's not late. I don't have to let you take it. It's actually not a legal issue. It's it's a civil issue, and so if it's you, my car. I understand, but there's still the lien holders on it, and they've asked us to come pick it up, and so that's between you and them. Do that. They you do. don't have the right to take my car. They do. Know. It doesn't have to be just because of a late payment. I'm, I'm not going to sit and discuss the law. There's no issue. Okay. I don't know. <laughs> and we don't know that. We could we could find out that it's so an insurance issue. Get my car anytime. Pretty much. And then you got to go down and find out why. And then if it turns out they took it wrongfully or outside of your contract, then you got to take it to court and sue them. That's. I mean, you know, <clears throat> if they're in the wrong, you're better to let me take it anyway because then you've got more justification in court. You know, as far as winning, I know, I know. Who wants to do that? I know. Who, I'm just telling you, though, it's not a legal, illegal thing. It's a civil matter. So, it's you know, and I, I just I never dropped the car in 25 years. You know, unless unless the bank said drop it. So I, you know, I'm being cool. I let your daughter get this stuff out. I'm not being a dink about this whole thing. You understand? I'm not. I'm not I know. I know. I know. I mean. What I'm saying is I don't want to slam you out of my door and just tear off and be a dick about it. What I'm saying is this is all going to go down cool because it's what it is. So I'm just moving the vehicle over there, go down there. He also said I know it's an inconvenience, but as you can see, it's already loaded. And She's got to miss the day of school. I, again, it's... What a jerk. I mean, really, what a, what an ass. I hear you. That's what I said. I hear you. We're neighbors. We go to church in the same chapel. Yeah. Yeah, I know. What a dick. Yeah. You can have food ass. All right. Yeah, I think those two dick and asses were meant for me too. Kind of a bi-directional thing there, but you know, it's what it is. They don't drop them. Unless the bank tells us to. And if it's a mistake on their end, then <laughs> there you go. That's what it is. Repoing. Doing how everybody does my job. <laughs>